QG. Now the requirements you need one are for e since e all in my videos onto this channel I usually use Cloudflare so we are going to use Cloudflare and then you need a, a domain name you need a domain name and then you need a server for the server I've already mentioned it uh, I've given I've gotten my server and then you need the script okay this around this is the script we are going to use now when you look at this script I've been using it for many times actually I use scripts because uh, most of my followers on this channel are not that good at coding so I usually use scripts to ease the uh, uh, to ease the way of uh, navigating Linux so that it is very easy rather than the code. Um, the other thing you need, if you're an Android user, you're going to use this application over here called Tamias. I made a video on how to use this application. You can use this application so that you can manage your server. You can log into your server. I made a video on how to do this. So when you look at this server, I've already directed in. If you're an Android user as well, there are other applications like USSSH and many other applications i made a video on, on the different ssh clients you can use on uh, on your android as well if you're pc users there's uh, putty and uh, there's this one i don't know how you guys pronounce it out there but uh, that's how me i pronounce it based on the country i'm from the accent and uh, when you look at this um as well you can also use this mob x this is the software i prefer because of more added features it's serving so, First, what we are going to do is um to connect to connect our domain name which we've gotten. Now maybe let me say um maybe my domain name is Vitore. dot com. Maybe that is the domain name I registered. But there are other there are sites where you can get these domain names just in case you don't know. There's a, a site called, um, let me just write them for you here. Maybe you can try out if you're uh, new to this channel. You can try out Freenom. You can try out um, GoDaddy. Uh, GoDaddy. Sorry about that. Um, you can also try out Namecheap. Sorry. My keyboard is disturbing. Okay. Now there, are, those are some of the few the domain name providers you can try out. Um, you can try out and get your domain name. Or and as also well for servers, uh, there are server providers you can try out. There is Vault. There is a lot of. I've been showing all uh, these providers in my previous video. So if you're new to this channel, kindly check out those videos and uh, you update yourself um, with what we are dealing with here. So let's get started. What need to do, you need to do? The other thing you need to do is um to get this IP address of your server. Okay. I'm assuming that you're already having uh, your domain name. Okay. Then you go to Cloudflare. Okay. You go to Cloudflare. Let me refresh this page. okay you go to cloudflare and link your domain name there so i made a video on how to do this as well you can try out in my videos there onto this channel and uh, it's very simple okay and you come to dns record and you add click add record so this way around i'm going to say thank you i'm going to create a subdomain thank you okay and then i point it to this ip so don't mind about what i've done here if you're not used to it but just follow the usual procedures which i do you just put your domain name and then you put the ip non-proxified and then you click save okay so now when we if i'm just to update you our domain name our domain name will be thank you okay .com. so that is a that is a subdomain name and uh, sorry that's not our extension okay hope you can see that we have gotten our, our domain name is there and uh, if i'm to remove all this okay we have gotten our subdomain there and uh, we are good to go now what you need to do is to copy this uh, this link sorry the script and uh, you come back to your server 
and you paste the, uh, the script. Now this script does each and everything for you. You don't need to hustle with uh, a lot of things to do, okay? So don't forget to check out um, this channel. This is our channel uh, where you're watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Whenever you subscribe to this channel, just know that you're supporting me and I'll be able to bring you a lot of content um, uh, pertaining uh, many different uh, areas, but uh, mostly on this channel, we discuss, uh, discuss servers, uh, tech and other things to do with uh, tech, okay? Um, if we got back to our server, I hope, uh, okay this script has almost all commands um from updating if you need if you read that uh, at the beginning of it it's up up the first it updates and upgrades your packages and then it installs the script so most of the time it lags at the update but if you know that your server your server is already updated what you need to do is just to copy the last part okay then i'm going to say this then I'll select a no. I don't need to tamper with my system right now. We are almost uh, done with installing our scripts. Now what we need to do is to select the language which we need uh, the script to present. Her. Now, this, the steps we are about to take are just one-time installation, okay? You don't need to with just one time installation that means you're just going to take them when you're installing but at the end of the day you're going to be using very easy steps okay so don't be overwhelmed by the steps i'm going to take but just follow step by step as i'm going to do so you, you enter eight okay now you select option number 10 which is vitore hope you can see each and everything guys okay And then after that, what you need to do is either to select install Vitore, change protocol, activate TLS, change door uh, Vitore. Now, there are a lot of things to do there. What you need to do, since you haven't installed Vitore, what you shall do is to install Vitore. 